Favorites, Jayquart, started the match on a high note with well-calculated service, spikes and blocks to send an early warning to their opponents. Despite a spirited fight from KCA University, Jayquart backed the first set 25-23. KCA came back fighting in the second set, which they easily won 25-21. Jay Quart went on to win the third and fourth sets 25-21 and 25-15 respectively to claim three crucial points. <laughs> In the ladies' category, St. Paul's University saw off Jake White by three sets to one. St. Paul's won the first set 26-24 before losing the second 20-25. St. Paul's went on to win the third and fourth sets 25-20 and 25-12 to mark three crucial points. In other matches, Kenyatta University lost by three sets to two to St. Paul's University, while Kenyatta University City trounced Daystar University by three straight sets. In handball, Kenyatta University ladies defeated Jake Ward 23-8 in one of a sided much played at the same venue. Irina Law led the front line for her scoring five goals as Masi Hatola added to the tally with four goals. The two sides also met in the men's category, with Kenyatta University again beating Jake Ward 18-13. Unlike the ladies' match where the hosts dominated, the two men teams could not be separated for the better part of the tie, but Kenyatta just managed to aid their opponents in the dying minutes of the game. In the other match played today, Daystar ladies defeated Kenyatta University Parklands 17-9. <laughs> Yeah, but